Alright, so off the rip, I'm not gonna mince words with you. If you one of them niggas who are super mad that a two-dimensional bunny rabbit wasn't drawn by another man to have her uh, titties and ass still, you're weird. I just want you to understand that. You're super weird, alright? Now, if you went the extra mile and put on social media, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, shit like that, talking about, yo, I'm about to boycott this whole movie. Not because LeBron James is in it, not because they CGI'd his hairline, not because it might not have the original movie, but because a two-dimensional bunny rabbit doesn't have her tits and ass? My mans, you mad fucking weird. I promise you. You are super duper weird. Like, I don't understand. I've never, I've been alive a long time. A mad long time. All right? Not like Mr. Miyagi old, but I'm like old enough. And I've never seen such a large contingency of grown ass men mad. And I will keep repeating this so you understand where I'm coming from. Mad that a two dimensional bunny fucking rabbit isn't sexually tantalizing their dick anymore. Like, I don't understand that shit. If you want to keep your hentai kinks, just look at like Google or something. If if you, if it matters that much to you, and if you, because it's, it's a bunny rabbit, so I'm guessing you might be a furry or something. If you want to look that up too, just Google it, bro. But don't don't get mad at a whole kids movie because you not, you know, getting your rocks off watching this bunny rabbit play basketball. Like it's <laughs> it's weird, man. And then I hear this other like alternative argument that like yo it's not even about yo bro it's not even about it's not even about the bunny rabbit and shit it's not even about the bunny rabbit and her tits and ass it's the fact that this generation this generation is mass sensitive and we and we can't handle some tits and ass from a bunny rabbit y'all mass sensitive and it shows weakness because y'all want to censor shit and shit and i'm sitting here like i grew up in the 90s and funimation existed and four kids existed and it's like they censored the show that I used to watch. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh! And the entire concept of the Shadow Realm is fake. It's, it's not real. It's not canon. Why? Because in the Japanese version of the anime, characters died. Marikter, Marikter, Marik was about to stab somebody and kill them in a kid show. We censored that. Because it's a kid show and we don't want to create more serial killers growing up watching characters get stabbed to death, right? Because so sometimes we want kids to just enjoy being a kid and we don't want to hit them with adult themes so early on in their development. So that's why we won't have a rabbit's tits and ass flaunted blatantly in a kid's movie about basketball. Calm down, bro. You know what I find real funny about it, too, is that like I found out this information. Like I saw the pictures on uh, the rap page on Instagram. And it's funny to me that so many dudes are trying to sexualize this bunny rabbit, but then get mad when Cardi B or Meg Thee Stallion is out here being hypersexualized in their raps or in their music videos like they're like yo we don't want to see a woman do that it, it sets a bad example for little girls out there but as soon as a freaking bunny rabbit comes out not showing her tits and ass no more then it's like oh man come on you got to keep that y'all being too sensitive and then it's like wait <laughs> hold on it's like which street you trying to pick so that's really it man um i really could have talked about how the whole 15 dollar minimum wage thing didn't pass and wasn't part of the 1.9 uh, 1.9 was it billion or trillion it was billion right it was a large ass figure right um dollar relief bill got passed uh eight i think eight democrats signed off saying that we don't want that you know and you know really just fuck you and your living conditions um and then uh, i think uh andrew cuomo got caught up with some rape allegations which i mean if those are true <laughs> It's going to suck for you over here in New York. We're going to make fun of you for real. And we probably just going to get you the fuck up out of here. Um, but that's really it. I just wanted to talk about this because I felt the bunny rabbit thing was a bit more important than, you know, real life issues. And so here I am talking about it. I really just hope that uh, men as a group, as a society, we grow out of this and stop looking so fucking corny openly like in the public like y'all act like this and then wonder why y'all don't get females like <laughs> what you be saying on your first date 
He's like, oh, what do you do in your free time? Yeah, man, back in the day in 2021, I was part of the whole uh, Lola Bunny titties and ass revolt against uh, Space Jam 2. It was really uh, it was really instrumental in my development. Is that what you bring up? That's what you was part of? Any motherfuckers who aren't even part of like the Black Lives Matter movement, but have that same kind of energy when it comes towards like that's that same fervor when it comes to like a rabbit. Like if y'all put that same kind of like effort and like anger and like vitriol towards like systemic like oppression and like corrupt bureaucrats and like politicians, then we might actually get some headway. So just pretend that like these corrupt Democrats and Republicans are like are like the, the establishment trying to take away your rabbit titties and ass. Just pretend that and I promise you we'd have a better society. So we could actually use that to be more constructive. But you got to redirect that energy. And also get like some confidence and talk to a female, right? Because this ain't healthy, right? This is not a good look for y'all. I promise. So that's it. Remember to comment the like button, subscribe to share button. Stop being so fucking weird. And uh, if you're still mad about this, if you're still mad about the Lola Bunny situation, remember to suck my dick.